Thank you, guys. One or two, boom, Jim, please. Um, hi, Jimmy. This is uh, Jim Conlon here from RCB Radio Sport Ireland. Uh, Jimmy, I just want to talk about two Irish players uh, in your squad, uh, Connor Shocknessy and Kieran O'Hara. Um, Connor Shocknessy, he's played for Republic of Ireland for all levels up until, up as far as under 21 level, and he's made eight appearances for your side uh, this year. Obviously, Ireland have fallen down from the grace they were. I remember you played against them in a World Cup qualifier in Lansdowne Road where Jason McAteer scored the goal and Ireland have fallen way down since then but do you think Conor Shocknessy could add something to the Republic of Ireland obviously he it meant a lot for him underage to play for his country and do you think he's the ability to play with the Republic of Ireland national soccer team? I think um, um, that was not nice to remind me first of that <laughs> moment with James McAteer yeah <laughs> <laughs> but anyway good old days I think I think Shaughnessy has got the potential. Has missed out, even though we know that he's 24, 25, he's missed out on a lot of football. Yeah. And he's catching up again. If he can stay fit and he can stay in the team and he keeps on improving, I think that it will be, um, I think that it won't be far for him to be called up by Ireland. And uh, Jimmy, in terms of Kieran O'Hara, another player from your squad, he played an awful lot uh, last year, but the form of the uh, goalkeeper Ben Garris has kept him out of the equation uh, this year. Does Kieran still have a, a, a long term sort of future at Burton Albion? Is he in your plans going forward? Well, he's still here. Um, um, he's, um, he's got uh, uh, this year left, and then he's out of contract. Um, Look, we know that Kieran is is uh, is a good goalkeeper. We know that his pedigree. We know that he is being playing for for Ireland. Uh, he's in an unlucky situation at the moment, and you know, for a goalkeeper, there's only one position in the team. Uh, he's been unlucky, and and um, I don't have a bad word to say about him, to be honest. Um, um, and, and at the moment, I've got three good goalkeepers and, and uh, Ben is, is playing at the moment. And finally, uh, Jimmy, in terms of Burton Dalbion's aspirations uh, for the season, is it trying to, to make the next step in terms of uh, making yourself really uh, League One sort of contenders and trying to make the break to the championship? And just on Lincoln City, uh, they, we know the squad they're capable of. The 5-1 hammering of Cambridge uh, United really showed up that. So it's a game that you have to be wary because Lincoln on form are capable of beating most teams, even in the championship. Yeah, Lincoln is a good side. Lincoln is a very good side. And you always have to be wary. You know, that's the that's the only club that, that we are thinking of at the moment. That's the only thing that we are thinking of uh, is the next match. Uh, we want to put a competitive squad together you know, and build that on. Uh, and that's what we are trying to do. We are not thinking any further, you know, one step ahead, you know, and, and try to improve. And and um, uh, the next improvement, hopefully, is, is on Saturday against Lincoln. Uh, cheers, Jimmy. And cheers for being so polite about that Jason McAteer moment. No problem. I was winding you up. Thank you very much, everyone. Pleasure as always. Thank you.